Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. It's about 4.30 here in the morning. Have my cup of coffee. So we have a Heathkit SB221. I'll be putting the metering board in. I'll be putting the filter board kit in. They're already assembled over on the other side of my workbench. He had converted this so the 15 meter position worked on 10 and he said he modified the filter here so it will work. It's for the input circuit and that stops it from working up there but he said he modified it so we'll see what's going on there. I'm going to change the plate blocker. Air variables are clean. Rotor switch contacts are good. So I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay so here's the bottom. I'll change the electrolytic cap. Look around the grids. The right way, not with craft wire. I'm going to unsolder these, flip the breaker over. This is right, rubbing right up against the cabinet, the shell. And look at this. See, this is at, you know, has one side of the 120 on it. Well, if it's wired for 220, one side of the 120, the other side. And then if for 110, it um, has the neutral and the hot. So look at the lead here. So that's the hot lead at, you know, line potential. And you have the lead on the cap that's at ground potential over the other cap. Look how close they are. I can I can't even fit the tip of my pen in between them. So once again, this lead goes to the cap and back. This one goes here. So you have the line connected to these two. And this one's at ground potential. So they're almost touching. So I'll unsolder those and I'll put some heat shrink on them so you don't have to worry about them ever shorting. Okay, so I'll do the bias mod, has not been done. I'll clean all the contacts and everything. Zip tie these wires and uh, check other, all the other connections and then. Uh, be good. Oh, needs one, one of the SO239s needs to be replaced. I forget which one it is, but I did pre-test those. I always actually let's check again right now with everybody watching. Right here. Yep, it's the output one. That is the worst one. You don't want that to fail because if you have an open on the output, bad stuff will happen. I think this one's okay. Yeah, see? Not this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get to work. Gonna do the grids first. I'll solder everything. Show my holes and uh, cut some copper. And uh, and uh, punch some holes in the copper and uh, start installing them. So I'll be back. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back with the completed SB221. Need meter lamp bulbs, Harbach kit, awesome kits for the metering board, genuine one, genuine filter cap board kit, series glitch resistor. I put some heat shrink over the secondary lead coming off the transformer because the insulation was frayed a little bit. New B positive wire, high voltage wire going over to the filter cap board. On the air variable on the on the uh, plate tune side, it had washers underneath. That's a bad idea. They're steel, and it wasn't even lined up in the middle of the hole anyway. It's not worth it to try to line it up in the middle of the hole if you know it doesn't end up binding. So there's no reason to do that. So took those out, tight number real tight. Put cap nuts on the other side. On the load, uh, air variable capacitor had a washer on top of the screw that was loose. Got rid of the washer, tightened it real tight. I ended up putting internal tooth crush washers, uh, lock washers underneath the nuts on the back here of this plate. Um, I also loosened the nut over here on the load side. The spade terminal was right up against the ceramic, so I put a nut there, and then I put a internal tooth crush washer, and then the brass nut over that, and now it's super tight. Clean the rotary switches with the oxid gold. Wound new parasitic suppressors. And uh, I don't know if I said before, but new plate blocking cap fan operates as it should. So I will flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back.
Okay, so here we have the bottom. I grounded the grids with strap directly to the chassis. I ended up unsoldering the connections from that breaker. I flipped the breaker upside down so it would get the connection away from the bottom cover. I put heat shrink on the .01 ceramic disc caps on the hot sides. Everything's all soldered real nice. So uh, zip tied the wiring, re zip tied all this wiring, did the bias modification, put a new electrolytic cap in, changed the SO239 connector for the output, and uh, this thing's good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. The phone number is uh, 203 892 4119. That's 203 892 4119. Take care.